Well, good afternoon, church family. This is Pastor Brad coming to you from the, the sanctuary today. I needed to share some news with all of you. Um, we have been notified here at the church of a, uh, of a positive COVID-19 case uh, within our church family. Uh, and so uh, with this in mind, I've been in touch with the church board and uh, we've just kind of made the, the tough decision uh, to uh, not have our in-person gatherings this Sunday, possibly even next Sunday. Uh, we'll, we'll let you know for sure, but we're going to be online this week uh, only. So uh, at 11 a.m., just like we always have, uh, we, will, we will be worshiping. We will be sharing from, from God's word uh, with each and every single one of you. We just won't be doing it in person. Uh, again, this is not an easy decision, and it's not one that uh, there's no fear, there's no anything <laughs> that you would want to possibly say other than the fact we're just being cautious. We're being mindful, we're being careful, and, and uh, we want uh, to, to make sure that we're taking into consideration the best interest uh, of you as our church family. So, uh, so join us online at 11 a.m., just as we have every single Sunday. And, and and as I was preparing to, to share this, the, the Lord brought some, uh, some scripture to mind out of Ephesians chapter 6. He says this in verses 10 uh, and, and 11. It says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. And the passage goes on to talk about who our battle is with. And our battle is not against ourselves or, or with the with uh, the world. It's against Satan, and this is just Satan's way of trying to to interrupt our our time of worship and our time of, of being together as a church family. And he's not going to do that. I'm not going to let him win. I pray that you don't either. And, and just a few verses over in Ephesians chapter six, verse eighteen, it says, "And pray in the Spirit on all occasions, and with all kinds of prayers and requests." With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. So that is my encouragement to you all today, is to be in prayer for all of the Lord's people. Be in, in prayer for those who have, uh, have, have been affected by this virus worldwide, nationwide, in our, our, our country, or our state, excuse me, and, and within our city. And so I, I just pray that you would be uh, in prayer for those folks and be in prayer for the church. Uh, and just be in prayer that, that the devil's schemes will, will not uh, win and that God will, and we know that he will. We've read the end of the book. <laughs> and so, so that way you can join us on Sunday, Sunday at 11 a.m. online. If, you, if you've been a while since you've been with us online, remember it's kinmarenazarene.org. You can click on the live stream button up on the upper right-hand corner and, uh, and you can join us. Uh, we'll be here for you on Sunday morning. God bless each and every single one of you. I'm praying for you, and we'll talk to you soon. God bless.